Do you want free money on RuneScape? Because all profits from these videos will be going back to one of you guys. Want to know how you can enter? All you have to do is subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell and comment your RuneScape username down below. Leave your money making suggestions in the comments with your username and if I use your suggestion, guess what? Winner winner, chicken dinner, you'll win an extra 200k plus all profits from this video so do not miss out. Now let's get into today's video. Welcome back to testing old school RuneScape money making methods. Feel free to leave any suggestions in the comment section down below for what you'd like me to do next on the channel. If you would like, you can browse all other money making methods I've tried here on the channel by clicking on my playlist either at the end of this video or in the description box down below. Welcome to Season 4 of Tessano Osiris Wiki Money Making Methods and today's money maker is Runecrafting Blood Runes and they was released to the game on the 18th of March 2002. If you guys want, you can join my CC for the latest updates and to know when new videos go live, just like the one you're watching right now. The requirements you'll need to be able to do this method are the following, and I have split it up into two separate like categories. The first set of requirements is so you can actually obtain the dense essence, and that is you'll need a level 38 in the mining skill, this is so you can mine this essence. And you will need the level 38 in the crafting skill, this is so you can chip this dense essence blocks into fragments. Also a level 73 agility is highly recommended, this is so you can use all of the shortcuts in this area for faster inventories. The second set of requirements is so you can actually make these blood runes. You will need a level 77 in the runecrafting skill alongside 100% Arceus house favour. I would also recommend for you guys to bring some weight reducing clothing. For the items you will need to be able to do this method, you will need a chisel, this is so you can chip away at the blocks, and you will need a pickaxe, this is so you can mine the blocks. My gear setup is on screen and I will just go through it now. The main part of my gear is the dragon pickaxe as without this I would not be able to mine this essence and for the rest of my gear I am just using weight reducing clothing. My inventory setup is on screen and I will enlarge it. All I have in my invent is my stack of blood runes I have crafted over this one hour and I have also got a chisel at the bottom of my invent. You will want to place your chisel like mine is on screen so you can chisel the essence a lot quicker. Now let's jump into some information about these blood runes. With 100% Arceus House Favour and 77 Runecrafting, players can craft blood runes from Dark Essence Fragments. Each fragment grants 23.8 experience. It is possible to reach approximately 38,000 Runecrafting experience per hour while crafting these blood runes. But if you are just starting this method, do not be deterred if you don't reach 38,000 XP an hour, as that is at the peak performance. I'm pretty sure in this video I, I only managed to get around 35,000 experience an hour and this was my first time ever crafting blood runes. Using the full graceful outfit and having around 80 plus agility should be enough to have enough run energy to last the entire trip. I will now run down how you can actually do this method. Players should mine an inventory full of dense essence blocks at the dense runestone mine. Then they should run to the dark altar to turn them into dark essence blocks and chip them with a chisel into dark essence fragments. After that the player should return back to the dense runestone mines and mine another inventory of these blocks. After you've got your second full inventory, run back to the dark altar, turn them into dark essence blocks and run to the blood altar southwest of the dark altar. Once the player has reached the dark altar, craft the fragments in your inventory into the blood runes and then after that chisel the dark essence blocks into fragments again and then runecraft these fragments into more blood runes. After you've done all this, run back to the dense runestone mine. This is where your agility level will come in handy. If you have level 73 agility, you could take a shortcut to get back to this mine. Otherwise, you will have to run all the way around past the dark altar and then back into the mine through the second agility shortcut. If you have completed the medium kebos diaries, you will receive a 5% chance of mining an extra dense essence block which will increase the profit you will make each hour. And if you have completed the elite diaries in the Kebos region, then you will be granted with 10% more blood runes, which again will transfer into a lot more profit each hour you guys do this method. But with this now all being said, let's jump on over to the final price check so we can see how many blood runes we have managed to craft in this one hour and to see how much money we'll be giving away in today's video. Welcome to the final price check of crafting these blood runes. And here in my event is the blood runes we have managed to craft in this one hour. We managed to craft 1436 
And for the XP in today's video, we have managed to get 35,100 in rune crafting. So now let's price check this to see how much we'll be giving away in today's video. So one hour of rune crafting or crafting blood runes comes out to be 525,576 GP. And that will be going away to one of you guys. Now let's jump on over to the spinning wheel so we can see who will be taking away today's profits. Welcome to the spinning wheel. Today's winner was supposed to be Saint Zaya, but because he's not been online for three weeks and he was the one who suggested the video, I don't really think he'd be too bothered if I roll this winner on the spinning wheel, so that is why we're going to be doing it into the video. So we currently have 47 entries on the spinning wheel with one new entry from the previous video and the newest new entry is Underranged. So I'm just going to go ahead and shuffle this a couple of times. So today's winner of all profits is going to be... Congratulations Revenant, you are today's winner of all profits. Now let's jump on over to the Moneymaker leaderboard so we can see where this Moneymaker ranks. Welcome to the Moneymaker leaderboard. On this leaderboard I rank the Moneymakers after I tried them and I split it into 4 columns. The first column is for the method I was using, the second column is for the money this method has earned me, column 3 is for the order they're ranking compared to the order they were released in, column 4 is for difficulty. And after I tried each method I rank it. If it is hard to do, then I'll rank it as red hard. If it is easy to do, then I'll rank it as green easy. And if it is somewhere in between, like some of these methods are, then I'll rank it as yellow medium. This is for the medium tier. Today's money maker was crafting blood rune. And this made us a profit of 525,576. This was seen in episode 12 on season 4. So we are getting to the tail end of this season. And I ranked it as medium. So I ranked it as somewhat in between easy and hard. I was torn between this because I was going to rank it as hard. But the method itself is not that hard to do at all. It's just getting to uh, 77 room crafting. That is the most annoying part about this. I, I ranked it as medium because you don't really need anything other than 77 rune crafting you need like 38 crafting and 38 mining but you can get them very very easily also with the weight reducing clothing if you don't have it you can just wear nothing in your gear slots and other than that all you need is a chisel and a recommended start of 73 agility but you don't really need the 73 agility if you don't mind running a little bit further so that is why i ranked it as medium anyway but i hope you guys have all enjoyed this money maker if you have enjoyed please like comment subscribe it really help this channel grow and let me know some suggestions in the comment section down below for what you'd like me to try to do next on the channel if i use your suggestion you'll win yourself 200k plus all the profits i get from using your suggestion but this has been ben i hope you guys have all enjoyed like i said and if you guys want to support the channel further you can do my patreon link is in the description box down below um, there are perks on there where if you sign up for it you will be entered into a monthly bond giveaway which is very limited for the people who sign up for it i hope you guys have all enjoyed like i said my name is ben and i'll see you in the next money maker bye